San Francisco Bay Blues. Uh, I tried to model my arrangement of that off of Eric Clapton's version. I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. Uh, and if you're ever near Morristown, New, Jer New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'm going to do a tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play-along that you might find helpful. Uh, but right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own video tutorial and play-along, then just check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now, the strum is pretty straightforward. I didn't stick to it always, but you could. If you played this entire song, um, sticking to it, you could. I called it a backbeat strum because the emphasis is on the second down, second and fourth, if you want to think of it that way. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's where the emphasis is, right? Generally speaking, I only paused right after the first down. Pause. So, uh, got blues from my very I didn't stick to that. There were times when I'd do... You don't have to obey the rules. That's one of the wonderful things about music. You don't have to. If you think it sounds good, do it. But that was the basic strum that I did. Now, as far as the chord transitions, um, most of them are pretty straightforward. That is, uh, they float nicely into it, and none of the chords are crazy hard, even though a couple of them might be versions or chords that you haven't played much. <clears throat> the intro starts with a C. I'm going to put my ring finger on that because then, here we go. I'm using an F. I call it a second position F because I'm leaving my finger down there. That's still an F, right? Here's your basic F. So is this. This is also an F. And that's an F. And that's an F. That's playing up the neck, right? So that's why it has a little subscripted, superscripted two after it, because it's a second, what I call a second position F. But in this song, every time I play that, I believe, I'm going from a C to an F and back to a C. So all you have to do is leave your finger there. It's not harder to play this chord than a regular F. Just leave your finger there, and it'll stay there while you're playing. C, F, and that's it. So C, second position F. C, then a C, 7th, and then I go to a regular F. But you see how it's like, 
I'm hearing this sort of melody in my in my strings. That's what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear it staying they there. That was the idea. Anyway, so C, second position, C, C7, then roll to an F. In that case, my my index finger is almost in the right place. I'm just kind of screwing it over and, and lifting it up to, to only cover the second string from the floor. <clears throat> That's the F. Then I drop again my ring finger onto the C, C7. Now that, that third line is a little quick, and the way I do it, right, I drop from the C, I've got my standard C there, then I drop my middle finger to that C major 7, and I slide it to a C7, and then I drop the A7. And then for the D7, my index finger is already occupied, so I drop my middle finger onto a bar, form the, G, uh, the D7. And at this point, the ring finger is almost in the right place. It only has to slide down one fret and drop the rest in place for your G7. And by the way, frequently, from there, I'll do a little bounce. All I'm doing is I keep my fingers the same shape. That's it. You can do that at will. Don't do it too much because then it gets boring. But it's the idea is it's a it's kind of a flourish, right? So I think I maybe I did it at the end or the intro. I don't remember. <clears throat> I didn't write it in, but you can do it as you like. Okay, so that is the uh, the first half of the verse. But then, ocean liner's gone so far away. That's still actually the same. Sorry, the rest of the verse is still the same chord transitions. Um, you know what? Uh, the the rest of the song is the same chord transitions, except in the middle of the harmonica kazoo verse, there is an E7 there. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's at the second half of the verse. I think I'm going to lose my mind. So you got to hear F there. Think I'm going to lose my mind. And I did the same thing, the same bounce. That's why it has a little red B. Right? Now from here, so I'm going from an F to an E7. Yes, I have to switch them all. And by the way, at least once, at least in the, in the kazoo verse, I went to two other E7s. I went from there. No, I didn't write it in. <laughs> but you can do a D7 shape on the 4th fret. That's also an, an E7. And a B7 shape on the 7th fret is also an E7. So if you want to slide up like that... I like that. And then you go back to the F. And that's it! I think that's it. I'm not going to give you a kazoo lesson. Ben's not going to give you a harmonic lesson. Sorry about that. I think we're just, I'm going to stop talking and go right to slow motion, close up, play along. And I'm just going to play along. I'm just going to play from the intro through the first verse because the rest of it <clears throat> is actually just uh, duplicated from those. So here's, here's how I go. Five, six, slow motion, seven. And
see you Wednesday. Bye.